Hello everyone. Oh, hope you're okay. I'm just setting this up so you can see what's going on. I think you can. That's not bad, is it? <clears throat> Got a bit of an angle to it, but I think that'll work. Right, so, World of Cal. Dun, 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 dun. Let's start. Oh, get my pen. Where am I? There we go. Right. So, this one's quite a simple one. Won't take too long. Just move the mouse. There we go. Ah, well, I hope you're all well. Um, I don't feel very well at the moment. I feel a bit blah. Just a bit dizzy and sicky and blah. Hopefully it's not anything too horrid. Oh, I'll just um, put my phone on just in case you want to tell me anything. Drastic. <laughs> do, 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 do. I'll be with you in a sec. Oh, yeah, just turn the sound down. <laughs> there we go, right. So if you want to say anything to me, uh, I'll be able to see on my um, my Facebook feed. Right, okay, so this one's a weird one because I a lot of the times uh, I have no idea what I'm gonna gonna draw um, and with this one I just drew a cow and it looked a bit sort of spaced out and I just went from there I just drew something and the joke came from that so I'll go from this and I'll, I'll sort of flesh out what's going on and it's not really a joke really it's just a funny little scene and sometimes I think they're the best jokes because it's not like a punchline as such but it's creating this strange little world um, another universe and you can you can kind of see the logic and how ridiculous it is like our world really um, <laughs> but yeah I, I like those uh, sort of setups because it's one of those things I think live with you longer you kind of it leaves uh, the person looking at the, the joke room to explore the joke in their own mind, as it were. That's a bit big, but I'll make it. I'll make it smaller. I don't know, though, isn't it? it might not be. Okay, well, we'll see. Um, yeah, a lot of the times I think um, too much is explained, and some of the best stories leave interpretation you know so the viewer can take part if it's all spread out and all oh, that happens is it um i don't know it just people like to speculate on things it's like when you're watching something like um westworld the interesting stuff is the stuff that you don't quite know what's going on and you start speculating and I think that's what drives us as a, a species is we speculate and act upon it so it's like our ancestors looking to the horizon and thinking well what's what's beyond there you know and I'm sure things like drought and things drove people <laughs> across the ocean but it's having the balls to go no I think there's something out there and I'm gonna go so that's why we need to go into space <laughs> from world of cattle <laughs> don't we need to go into space oh I saw a great trailer uh, Jake Gyllenhaal and it's about um, they find life on Mars I think it's, they've They've shot it on the space, well they haven't shot it on the space station, but they've recreated what it's like to be in zero G. And it's more a scientific 
look. It's almost like gravity, uh, and Hollywood loves this, doesn't it? Gravity meets alien. Um, but what I've seen, I think it's called Life. What I've seen, it looks pretty compelling. Um, yeah, I don't like that nose. Just, yeah, I think the nose is a bit wide. Oh, got bits and bobs in my way. Sorry about this. I was thinking of doing a Donald Trump joke, and you know Donald is Donny, and I was thinking Donny Trumpo, and doing him like that manic rabbit in Donny Darko. Good film that. Again, that left you guessing uh, what it was about. And my take on it is it's a uh, anti. Um, it's a wonderful life. He's actually shown what a shitty world it would be if he was still in it. Quite simple. And that's the thing, you see, I mean, these films take a lot of, you know, thought. Well, you hope. So, there's always, well, maybe not Michael Bay movies, you know, but there's always something contextual you know you can it means something else you know it's a metaphor a lot of sci-fi is a metaphor for things I and mean, it's not straightforward star wars has a lot of uh influence from buddhism you look at what yoda says and it's you know lifted from various religions Anyway, uh, right, yeah, so this cow's got her mouth open. Yeah, I think I don't know whether to do that. It's funny. You see, you have to think what's funniest. Maybe the whole cow is funnier. Okay, right, we'll see. I'll draw the whole cow, and if I don't think it's funny, I'll. Uh, I'll run for the hills. Uh, right, okay. Can you believe they're going to make another Toy Story? I mean, I, I didn't particularly like the, uh, the third one, actually. I thought they should have all died. <laughs> um, you know been incinerated that would have been I think that would have been a good ending but uh, what did, where did they go they went to a little toys home or something yeah I came out of that like, oh, not that impressed really I wasn't in tears what the hell is that uh, in a sec. I'll be back in a sec is trying to contact my wife. Um, Alright, what am I doing? Oh yeah, I've got another really good one. I'll ask it. Okay. Sorry, I, I wrote a couple of um, World of Cows the other night and I've just realised I've got another one that I really like. Um, which again, um, I don't know, it just made me laugh. Um, you know the characters you don't even have to know the characters but anyway, anyway uh, what am I doing oh yeah so as you can see there is a human and he's doing this that's such a nice way of illustrating the lips
that's sort of cartoon 101 if you want him to blow and he's not blowing but if you want him to blow you do the cheeks coming out like that and instantly you have <laughs> you're trying to uh, communicate things to people and it's um, it's probably um, uh, you're something if you'd shown someone in the 19th century that they wouldn't have got it at all but because we're educated in media it's almost becoming its own language we've had this cartoon in for well over a hundred years now I think cartoon strips were invented by the Americans in the early uh, 20th century the bubbles and things before that if you look at punch cartoons they were just these sort of elaborate setups um, with these massive sort of paragraphs it's almost like a uh, if you look at Rupert the Bear the way that's done I don't know if they still do it like that but it's basically a little sort of story and they had to explain everything and the Americans came along and simplified it and made it uh, much better and they started you know, with thought bubbles and things, and we all understand that. But yeah, I mean, if you'd shown someone that, uh, you know, 200 years ago, they wouldn't have got it. It's a language, it's its own language. Um, very cool, I think. <laughs> Just the whole thing of being able to communicate a thought through an image and a joke is amazing, I think. We are wonderful creatures. And who knows, we could be the only life in the universe. So we've got to... Uh... I mean, that's super, super precious. We are the most precious things, and our planet is one of the most precious things in the universe, without doubt. And we are custodians of that and we need to respect that and forget about bloody money and that's all that uh, I'm gonna say it that's all that Trump cares for at any cost make money crash and burn fuck everyone else there's a bigger picture out there mr. Trump stop burning oil there's smarter ways to make energy. There's a great big nuclear furnace that keeps us all alive. We must invest in that. Solar energy. Basically all we're doing at the moment, nuclear fusion boils water which turns a turbine. We're boiling water. Now does that sound futuristic? No it bloody doesn't. It's stupid. We are still in the Stone Age. Well, not Stone Age. Uh, the Industrial Revolution. Steampunk. We are steampunks. Future generations, if we ever get any, will look back at us and say, what morons? They were boiling water? I mean, there is some interesting technology. If you boil water at uh, altitude, it boils at a lower temperature so you can lower pressure in these boilers and you can get water and steam at much lower energy so if you employ that that would save a hell of a lot of energy they do that with um, there was this gas power not gas it was a um, uh, this ship that uh, carried gas massive massive ship and that's what that did it actually lowered the pressure of its um, its water tanks so it could it could boil water much it's basically a steamship uh, so it's incredibly efficient 
So yeah, if you're going to burn coal, do it like that. I hope, well maybe they are doing that, but anyway, you get more for the ton per ton of coal. So less CO2. But you know, water, steam is a um, is a, is a, a, oh what's it called? You know. Oh god, I've gone up my head. I'm not thinking straight today. My brain is hurting. Um, I'm not. I'm not quite there. Um, but yeah, it's like um, it's like calm dark side. It's a uh, one of those gases. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, right. So we have a cow. Well, is it a cow? And we have. Oh. Oh. Sorry. Missed something. He hasn't got a leg here. Too busy spouting off about global warming. Greenhouse gases. Ugh. That's a term. I'm not well. Leave me alone. Right, so. He's got a nice cup of tea. Which he is holding. Oh, it's gone a bit wrong. Oh dear. Now, a lot of my cartoons, my first cartoons, I did a lot of jokes. They weren't anti hedgehog. <laughs> it's just I had this sort of idea that cows were fighting hedgehogs as sort of animosity between the two. Um, creatures. <laughs> um, so I want to redress that now. Peace has broken out and um, I want to draw a cute little hedgehog. Hopefully this is a cute little hedgehog. Let's see. So, oh, there's his nose. Obviously. And his two little eyes. And don't they look good? And then I'm just going to do this and build it up. So the shape, I'm just doing the, the shape now. Um, cute little body. Ooh. I saw the cutest little black dog today, so sweet. These little puppies, they've got like little long legs big heads and uh, they just look like bits of string tied together um, oh, so sweet and then Charlie my dog slaps it around the face which was a bit of an eye-opener right so there's a little hedgehog Um, I think the eyes are in the wrong place, hang on a sec. I want him to look a bit gormless. Yeah, just sort of staring up, that's it. Like he's um, like a spaceship. <laughs> yeah, that's it. And I'm just going to put a little bit of white on his nose. So, he's standing there. And... We just draw the grass in and then colour up and then I'll, I'll do a little gag. As I say, it's not really a joke. It sort of sets a funny scene, I think. We're sort of coming in halfway through, well, a normal day. This is, this is, just, this is just a sort of uh, little letterbox in, you know, keyhole their life, these characters. This is normal for them. This is possibly what is going on and we don't know about. It's almost a conspiracy theory. Don't think it would make it on X-Files. 
hopefully they don't bring that back, my god. There was one episode that was really good, and the others were absolute well, garbage. And well, the ironically, the the one about garbage was the the best one. It was like this golem that was travelling around in a uh, a dump, um, a rubbish truck, killing people. Um, but yeah, the last episode was absolutely crazy. Hopefully that doesn't come back. Um, didn't look like Gillian Anderson wanted to be there, that's for sure. Right, um, so I'm going to copy that. Let's move it along. And, uh, I'm happy where he is, I think. Yeah. So, oh, hello, sorry, I forgot that one. Yeah, okay, so now I'm going to colour up. <sighs> oh, hi Andy. Yeah, um, Andy Archer, good friend of mine. Yes, I'm not too bad, matey. Just not feeling very well. Breakfast? He's having breakfast now. God, it's a bit late. Well, I hope you're all well, matey. Uh, right, okay. So... Maybe the, you know, I'm just looking at the hedgehog, he doesn't look, um, doesn't look spiky enough. So what I'm going to do, he looks a bit furry. So uh, I've got it on 20, I'm going to go down to 15. Uh, and just, oh, well, I'm not doing it in green though, let's go back. In the old days, you didn't have a, a history tool. Um, so you couldn't go back a few steps. So you'd, you'd draw a couple of lines and you'd be stuck with them. Thank goodness they changed it. Good old Adobe. I always think when I say Adobe there's a scene in Pee Wee Herman's Big Adventure uh, where he's at the Alamo and they're talking about an Adobe. <laughs> so yeah, I'll think about that. Oh, it keeps me happy. <laughs> Uh, I haven't seen the new one, I don't know what that's like. Right, so I'm just going to indicate a little sort of hand here. Like that. Maybe, yeah, hang on a sec, just carry that on a bit. Yeah, I think that makes him look cuter. So that's good. Ookie kooky. So, let's colour this bad boy up. Let's not do that though. That's wrong. Oh, sorry. Ah! There we go. Oh dear. Right, so sky wise, I'm just going to put in a graduated bit of airbrushing. Um, do it on a percentage. And I'm doing blue on a percentage. What an idiot. There we go. So it just, you get a nice graduated tune. And then, oh, goodness gracious me, I need a cup of tea. Um, brown, yeah, I mean, it's all, you know, very simple. I don't need to tell you what colours I'm doing. I think you know what colours are by now. If you don't, go back to school. You know, never too late, actually. It's always, do not think you're the finished product, because you're not. We're all idiots, so you can never learn too much. So there, <laughs> let's go to college. Um, yeah, shit, I better go to college. Um, now nah, it should be white china. So I'm gonna just do a little bit of shadowing. Not that, oh God, didn't change the brush. There we go. They were talking about the uh, who would be the next uh, Doctor Who. And a lot of women are coming up in the mix, which I think is brilliant. And black actors. Um, so yeah, I mean that could be uh, 
Very interesting. I think that's what they need to do. But I don't think they're going to decide until they find out who's going to be the head writer. But who's the guy who plays Q? They were talking about him. And uh, he's amazing. His, his diction is so precise. <laughs> he's a good actor as well, but he speaks very well. <laughs> that's what you need. Uh, right, so. Uh, just do a little lasso. And as you can see, I'm doing it uh, in a wavy way. So it just indicates it's on grass and it just sits the character on there very nicely and uh, I think colour up the hedgehog yeah and get the brush tool just sort of colour that all in maybe a bit of brown Oh yeah, that's nice. And then that little bit, I'll just make brown as well. No, skin colour. Okay. So, we have our man inside the cow, drinking tea. Uh, and... Maybe just a bit of shadow on the underside of the cow. Again, just to pop it out a little bit. And maybe on the top, a bit of uh, just a bit of white. So you see it really sort of pops that out. And I'm not sure this cow looks spaced out enough, actually. So hang on a sec, I'm just going to put in a bit of shadow underneath the eye again, that just pops it out a little bit. And yeah, if you want people to look dazed or cute, that's why heroin ad addicts look so adorable. <laughs> there we go. Um, yeah, is this baby on crack? <laughs> yeah, so that looks nice and glassy eyed. Um, and I'm just going to put a little bit of colour in there, so just a sort of uh, pinky fleshy colour. Woo! Hang on, I'm on the wrong level. Let's do that again. Do that again. Um, yeah, I'm going to put a little highlight on his nose, because he's probably all sweaty. <laughs> I haven't really thought about this, thank goodness. Um, and a little bit of shadow here I think just to show that he's kind of underneath that nose yeah a little bit of shadow on that uh, doink, 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 doink. And that's just um, like black at 30% or 20% and actually yeah I've, um, I've been infected by the shadow bug so we'll put shadow under there and there and I think that can have a bit of shadow on it too so same percentage and it just gives it a little bit more weight so the joke kind of joke uh, hang on a minute I've got it on Comic Sans at the moment for some reason uh, I want it on Damaged and Let's do it at uh, 24. Yeah. Is. Thanks, Tony. I was. I was gasping. Thanks, Tony. I was gasping. Um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's my joke. But I just found that funny. And I don't know why. Um, just quite surreal I guess yeah well yeah. <sighs> so I just 
do the Do the speech bubble. I think it can come from there. I don't think you're going to confuse the fact that the cow's talking. There we go. Right. All right then. Uh, I will just colour that up. There we go. Look, oh, Tony. I haven't done him a... What, Tone? I thought Tony for a hedgehog was a funny name. Okay. There we go, there's Tony, and maybe a little bit of shadow underneath Tony's chin. Looks a bit clueless old Tony. And yeah, maybe just on the eyes. Like so, okay, uh, just... There you go. We're done. Drop the mic. Where did that come from? Who dropped the mic first? Who did that? I suppose it's come from rapping, hasn't it? <laughs> I sound like a right old man. <laughs> that rapping. Uh, right, okay. There we go. I think that's, uh, I'm quite happy with that. Let's save that. Right, okay, chaps. Uh, I hope you're well, and I'll do another one of these a bit later. Just gonna press finish. That's for you lot. You're fired. Now, I'll see you later. Thanks for watching.